Hello, my name is Bastian Rey. Welcome to a new Godot related series I'm starting on my channel. In these episodes, we'll discuss a solution instead of doing a full walkthrough. In today's video, we'll be looking at the mirror effect you're seeing here. There are several ways to approach a mirror effect, but many of the traditional ways will falter in VR. It will come as no surprise seeing the title of this video that this is completely faked. Godot has two built-in solutions for reflections. The first is screen space reflection, which is turned on in this demo. These are great for quick and dirty reflections where services meet, but fail for anything more complex like the spaceship being reflected in our mirror. The second are reflection probes, which render the scene around the reflection probe. These are great for detailed reflections, but are very costly to dynamically update. What you are seeing here is a pretty traditional mirror setup for a dynamic mirror. We have our main camera, which renders the view for the player. You can see the output of this camera in the bottom left. And then we have a second camera that is rendered to a viewport. I'm showing its preview in the right bottom corner. I've sized the viewport right now to fit our previews, so I can show off how this works, but normally you would size this equal to your monitor's resolution. Also make sure that the update mode is set to always and that you tick keep linear. There is a script on our camera container node that will constantly update the position of our mirror camera as I move the player's camera around. It flips the position and rotation. It's not a full implementation, but works for our example. Finally, to complete the effect, I have a quad on which we render our mirror. This quad is not rendered by our mirror camera because it is facing away from it. The quad has a simple visual shader graph. All it does here is use the screen UV coordinate, invert the X coordinate, and performs a lookup of our mirror's viewport texture. Note also that I've turned shading off, seeing our texture is already shaded. When I unhide it, you'll see a perfect reflection of our scene. This solution works well for a normal desktop game where you want to render a mirror like this or create a better reflection on, say, water. There are, however, two features that Godot currently lacks that would perfect this solution. The first is that we really need a clipping plane that prevents anything from behind the mirror being rendered. In our example here, there is nothing behind the mirror, so we're good. The second is that we render a full resolution texture here while our mirror only covers part of the screen. A technique many engines use is to first render the mirror quad to a stencil, and then use that stencil to only render the part of the mirror texture we actually need. However, even with those optimizations, this technique just doesn't cut it in VR unless you have some really beefy hardware. We're already rendering our normal output at high resolutions, twice at much higher frame rate. Using this technique would double the processing power required to render the scene as we would be rendering a reflection texture for each eye. Out comes the box of tricks, and we use one that is used in many games. What you're seeing on screen now is our complete main scene, and you can see there is a fair bit going on. Our scene is broken up into smaller sections, so let's have a look at the room that contains our mirror. Our hallways are part of our larger setup but here we see our room as it is, including all the assets and physics objects. But there is a second version of our room that is currently hidden, so let's have a quick look at that. Hmm, that looks identical to the other one, but with a few parts of the hallway added, and a missing wall. And it is. It is a carbon copy, but I've removed most of the physics objects and a few other things we don't need. I have also added a few objects in this scene that represent our player's head and hands. There is some code in the background that will copy the position from our ARVR nodes each frame. Going back to our original room, we can take a look at our transform property. Now all I did here originally was to set the X scale to minus 1 to completely mirror our room, but Godot adjusts that to inverting the scale completely and adding a 180 degree rotation. The end result is the same. Unhiding our mirrored room, and we complete the illusion. Our room seems reflected in our mirror, but in reality we're looking at a carbon copy of our room, 
all bad, inverted. Now one final thing that needs to be said here is that we do need the space to have our mirrored room. If there is another room that the player can enter, we have a problem. A problem we can solve, but that is a topic for another video. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this new format in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it would greatly help. If you want to support me in making content like this, please consider donating a cup of coffee on my Patreon page. The top tier gives access to my Discord channel, where I hang out regularly to discuss what I'm working on or exchange ideas with my patrons. Finally, you can follow me on Twitter for more general announcements and hear about me fail at Apex Legends. Until next time.